you need to install this CLI and you need to have, uh, uh, it's based on the, the language Python. So you need to have Python installed and some other stuff. Uh, let's see if I, yes. You can see here. Uh, I, I, you will get the, all of these links uh, on our web um, site. So before uh, you can use this uh, or install it, you need to have Python. You can't use Python uh, version 3. You have to use Python uh, 2.7 uh, or earlier, actually. Uh, this is installed on OS 10 by default, this version, so you don't have to install it on OS 10. Uh, in Linux, you probably just go to Python's homepage and see you get a, an apt-get command or something like that to install it. It's quite easy. Uh, another thing you need is the, the pip, which is a, a package manager for Python. Uh, and it's quite easy to install if you have uh, Python installed, you just use this command, ec install pip. And on Ubuntu or Debian, you just type apt-get install, Python dev tools, and Python pip. And then they have the, all these uh, different installers to help you install them on, on different systems. When you have that running, then you can use the, the package manager pip to install the OpenStack uh, client. That shouldn't be a problem, and I think we will skip. I thought that I would do that on Windows, but I don't think that would be any big problems for you to, to do. I can do that in the end if you think it's necessary. Uh, and we have that installed. You will be able to type uh, open stack. And then you will get into that, or you can just type the different commands to create machines and, and stuff like that. Um, but before, we need to authenticate ourselves to our cloud. And they have created this RC file to help us with that in the access and security. We have the different endpoints. There are a, quite a lot of different servers that we are talking to when trying to uh, to use this CLI. And we have this RC file, which we can download. And if you are using uh, Windows, you should using the git bash uh, to, be able to run this script. And it doesn't contain anything dangerous. Uh, you can see the content of it. It will only set up some uh, globally uh, accessible variables. So we have the IP address and the port for the, the API that it will use. It has the username and my project, pro project name. And then it will uh, ask me when I run this the first time for my password. Uh, so it will store that also. So when you then try to uh, type in open uh, stack commands, it will use these uh, globally accessible variables to be able to connect. So you don't have to type in your password every time. So when you want to execute this, you start with a dot and then the path to the file. You usually have seen maybe a dot and a, a, a slash and then the file, but here you only use the dot and the path to the file. Download. Now it asks for my password. And this is the password that you got from our uh, home page.
so nothing happens here. It only stores these uh, variables. So now we should be able to use this open stack server list. Hopefully. No. So I only run the, the script again with the correct pass password this time uh, because I changed it. And then we can use a lot of different commands. So the first one is here I use is OpenStack. Then what I want to uh, work with, I want to check my servers and then I want to list them. So you see here I have one server in my uh, cloud and you see the networks connected to that one. Uh, there, I, I will get. You will get uh, a documentation for this command. There are a lot of different commands. You won't be able to use all of them because you are not administrators of our cloud. So sometimes you will get, oh, I can't use this or I can't find this resource because you are not an administrator. So you won't be able to uh, create new users or create new projects and stuff like that. Then you will get an error. But uh, 